is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here. This is the Monday edition, August the 1st. Uh, here we are with an update at 10 o'clock for the Tiger Financial News Network. We're down 36 points at 32,812. Very nice action for the end of the month uh, buying spree. Uh, and we might even have the first of the month, maybe even the second of the month buying. My, my outlook right now is that we've been in a buy mode uh, for uh, over a month. And we're expecting a leg D. We've got that leg D. We then expect a peak D. But at the same time, if there's no new high above 32,910, and I think the 32,900, 33,100 area is going to be strong resistance, then we might see some kind of short-term topping action. Near term, I should call it. Look, here's the S&P. We're always expecting a peak D in a buy mode in the Chapway, four higher peaks. We're at leg C. If the, if the S&P can go one penny above 41, 40.15 to extend leg C, that's one thing. I think that we're going to get a peak C today. Somehow or other, there isn't that buy, uh, extra push towards 41, 40, 16 or higher. And then we get that either Tuesday or Wednesday. And then we've got to be a little bit careful. Looking at the QQQ, we're looking at the NDX 100 trading vehicle. There it is. Trading up uh, 80 cents at 316.23. This has been my one of my favorite indices for subscribers to Mobile New Call. We've been long for a while. And we're looking at this as breaking above the left side high of 314.46. June the 1st, that's really important. But look at this weekly chart. It shows you the strong resistance area we're about to come into. We get the IWM. The IWM is trading at a, a leg D, maybe a peak D today at 186.12. Uh, down a dollar ten. Hey, gold. Gold is just really rock solid right now. Up four at 1786 in a leg at B. And the reason is the dollar is pulling back. It's at the 50 period exponential moving average. The, the daily chart is in a sell mode. The, the weekly chart hasn't even got to a sell signal yet. And if you look at the TLT, uh, that's trying to rally here. So yields are coming down somewhat uh, at 118.60. And also, if you're looking at crude oil, crude oil had a, quite a bit of a dip today. It's down four at 94. I'll be back with the Tiger Ticket. So hope you can stay. It should be a great program. Good start of the month. <laughs> 